everybody. I hope everybody's having a really, really good week this week. So this week I was inspired by a post on Facebook and it was a Karen Berninson die set and I thought, let's see if we can figure out how it's made. And so this is what I came up with. It says, love you always. And then you open it up and it's a mailbox where the flag and the envelope both move and this just says thinking of you over here and I just thought this was a really cute idea and I thought let's see if we can do it so we're gonna do that today guys so let's head over to design space and get started so I'll meet you over there Okay, now that we're over here in design space, this is the only image that you're going to be needing this week. So if you would like, you can go ahead and go over to images and get that, and then we'll just get started. Let's go ahead and go to shapes now, and let's get the square down here. We're going to make that square 6 by 3.625, and we're going to make sure we're all the way up and the X and the Y are at zero. Okay, and then let's go ahead and go to shapes. We're going to get a score line. We're going to go up to operation. We're going to change that score line to a basic cut line. We're going to rotate this line 90 degrees. We're going to make it 1.261 in height. We're going to place the X at 0 and the Y at 2.125. All of these lines we are doing right now are going to all be cut lines. So let's go ahead on that cut line and right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust that score line to 0.661 in height. We're going to rotate it 23.25 degrees. We're going to place the X at 1.276 and the Y at 1.526. And just to make it easier, let's go back down to our first um, cut line and right click and duplicate that line. And we're going to adjust it in height to 2.55. And we're going to place the X at 1.531 and then the Y at 1.526. Then let's right click duplicate. We're going to rotate that line back to zero. We're going to make it in height 1.528. We're going to place the X at 4.088 and the Y at zero. Then let's right click, duplicate. We're going to make that score line 1.528 in height. We're going to place the X at 4.462 and the Y at zero. Then let's right click, duplicate. We're going to adjust that score line to 0.874 in height. We're going to rotate it 326.89 degrees. We're going to place the X at 4.462 and the Y at 1.526. Then let's go back up to this line and right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate that line 90 degrees. In height, we're going to make it 1.053. We're going to place the X at 4.94 and the Y at 2.248. Then let's right click, duplicate. We're going to come down here and we're going to make that score line in height 1.815. We're going to place the X at 2.834 and the Y at 2.943. Then let's right click, duplicate. Let's go up and rotate that line back to zero. Then we're going to adjust that line in height to 0.667. We're going to place the X at 2.855 and the Y at 2.95. Now we have 
all of our cut lines completed. So let's go ahead and go to shapes. Let's get a score line. We are going to make that score line 1.5 in height. We're going to place the X at 1.261 and the Y at 2.125. Then let's right click, duplicate, and we're going to go to this score line. We're going to adjust it to 2.097 in height. We're going to place the X at 3.963 and the Y at 1.526. Then let's right click, duplicate. Let's make that score line 1.347 in height. We're going to place the X at 5.321 and then the Y at 2.25. Then let's go ahead and right click, duplicate. We're going to rotate this score line 45 degrees. We're going to adjust that score line to 0.879 in height. We're going to place the X at 3.961 and then the Y at 1.727. Right click, duplicate, and let's come down here and do this line. So we're going to make that line 0.92 in height. We're going to place the X on 4 we are going to make that Y on 2.949. Then let's right click, duplicate. Then we're going to go up to flip, flip horizontal. We're going to adjust that score line to 0.928. We're going to put the X at 3.289 and then the Y at 2.936. Then let's right click duplicate. We're going to make that score line 1.136 in height. We're going to place the X at 3.164 and then the Y at 1.547. And then now we have all of our score lines completed. So what we can do is grab it all and go down to the bottom and hit attach. Now what we need to do is to resize our box. We're going to resize this to, in the width, 4.486. Adjusted your other size to 2.704. Then what we can do is just grab that and move that to the side. Let's go to Shapes. Let's get this tangle with the rounded corners right here. And we're going to make that 3.917 in width and then the height 2.347. And then we're going to make sure our um, X and Y are all the way up at zero. Then we're going to go to shapes again. We're going to get this rounded square. We are going to resize that square to 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 and making sure your big rectangle is in the X and the Y are at 0 we're going to place that little square the X at 2.847 and then the Y at 0 0.654 then you're going to grab it all and come down to the bottom and hit slice and then we can just get rid of those little squares and we have our piece here is resize our piece we need to make it 3.05 by 1.828 in height now with these um, circles here if you guys have the um, the boss tool for your Cricut that's what I've done um, to make these if not you can just do little circles and then cut them out um, in paper and place them down. And I made these circles 0.145 by 1.145. 
and I just line them um, across the bottom. There's no wrong way to place this, just however you would um, like to put it on your mailbox. Or you don't have to put it on your mailbox. So now that we have this resized, we can go ahead and move it aside. Now with our envelope, the only thing we need to do to it is resize it. And we need to make it 1.394 by 0.811. And then we can move that item aside. This is our post for our um, mailbox. So we can go to uh, Shapes, get this square. We're going to resize that square to 0.632 by 3.627. And then we can move that aside. Now let's go to shapes, get the square. We're going to resize square to 2.264 by 0.3. 361 and turn your square this way if you haven't already and then we're going to go to shapes we're going to get this circle we're going to make that circle 0 0.292 by 0 0.292 we're going to place that circle making sure your square your rectangle is on X and Y is on zero. Then we're going to take that circle and we're going to place the X at 1.806 and the Y at 0.194. And then we're going to grab the circle and the rectangle and we're going to come down to the bottom and hit weld. Then we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get the score line. We're going to adjust that score line to 0.446 in height. We're going to rotate it 45 degrees. We're going to place the X at 0 0.051 and then the Y at 0 0.052. And then we're going to grab it and hit attach. This is going to be our door to our mailbox and we're going to resize this to 0.374 by 1.835 and then we can move that aside now we can get these are going to be our pretty pieces of paper and I'm doing four one for the inside and one for each side of the outside of the card and these are going to be 5 by 6.25 and then our card base we're going to make 10 and a half by 6 and a half then let's get a shapes get a score line we're going to make that score line six and a half inches long and we're going to put it in the center which is going to be five and a quarter then we're going to grab it all and hit attach Okay, now let's go to shapes, get this square. We're going to make that square 0.75 by 0.514. We're going to place the X at 0 0.083 and your Y at 0. Then let's go to shapes, get another square. Let's resize that to 0.125 by 1.333 take that and we're going to place the X at 0 0.069 and then the Y at 0 0.053 then let's go to shapes let's get a circle we're going to make that circle 0.292 and within height we're going to place the X at 0 and then the Y at 1.181 once we have this all set up, what we're going to do is grab it all, go down to the bottom, and we're going to hit weld. Then we have our flag that's needed. Now let's go ahead and go up to shapes, get a circle. 
we're going to make that circle 0.918 in width and height. Then we can right click, duplicate, and we're going to take that second circle and we're going to make it 0.321 by 0.321. Then we're going to grab them both and go up to the top, go to align, and then align center. If you have the um, deboss tool, that's what I did with mine is I went into operations and changed it to, for the center one, changed it to deboss. If you don't have it, that's okay. Just leave it as it is. And when you go to cut, you'll cut both of these circles and then just place this in the center. Or you could draw this in the center. It's just to give it some dimension. Alright, then once we have that, we can go ahead and move that aside. This piece here, um, it is free. I just added this so you guys could um, also have it if you wanted to use this piece. This is the number so you can find it in images. And what I did is put this on the front of my post. So if you would like to use that piece, this is the size I made it was um, 1.359 by 1.681. And these are all the pieces uh, that we're going to be using, plus anything you would like to put on the inside or the outside of your project. And what we can do is go up and go to save and don't forget to save it and name your project. So let's go ahead and head back to the table and I'll see you there. Okay, let's go ahead and work our score lines and place our pretty paper on. That we have that on we can get our mechanism that we made let's get that out we have our mechanism here and I just have um, our score lines highlighted so it's easier for y'all to see so what we're gonna do is make this a mountain fold this one a mountain fold and this one a mountain fold so let's do that so this is what we should have. It should be looking like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half. Okay, and then once we have it folded in half, this top piece up here, we're just going to push the V score line towards us. Then let's work it the other way. And you can do this a couple of times. Then we're going to open it up and then if you pinch right at the V of this, push this down and put your finger in and just fold this up. That's how we want that. So we want this to the back. Okay. So it should be looking like so. Now for this bottom one, what we can do is work this first score line here, this score line. So let's work that. And if you do that, that's how it should be folded down like this. Then keeping it like so, this score line we're going to fold back to it then this score line we're going to work and it should come where it's parallel with our bottom of our card our mechanism so it should look like that all folded up okay 
So when you open it, you should have this open, up flat like that, and like so. So this, we want a valley, but this part of the mechanism, we want it to be a mountain. Okay, then once we have that, we need to work this down. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of glue right there and then glue that down. That's the glue. And then we're just gonna push this down. Now we need to get our door to our mailbox, which is this. And this, you can place, we fold this over like so. So we have it folded down like this. This piece will line up very nicely against the edge here. You see that? So that is where we are going to place it. And it should line up very nicely at the bottom of our card. It should be flush up against it. Okay? So I'm just going to put a little glue on my door. Just right there. And then I'm going to place it, just match it up on the bottom of our mailbox here. Like so. See how it's all nice and neat there? Okay. So now what we're going to do is place glue anywhere all in this area. Okay. And then we will slip this lever the one that's facing down through here after we get the glue on it and then we're going to turn it over and we are going to fold this down and then just line the bottom up on our card so it should be nice and even down here. Now that is about how much room I have left before we reach the end. Okay? And that is how much is sticking out on my little tab there, if you can see it. So not much at all, and that's okay. So again, I just want to show you, we have about that much left on the end. And this is lined up with the bottom of our card. And because I rounded my corners of my mailbox, I'm just going to snip this off so it doesn't show. Okay. So now we can go ahead and glue this down. The glue where it's needed first. Let's turn it over. So I'm going to slide the tab through here. And now what we're going to do is just line this bottom up with the bottom of our mailbox.
and it's just about flush on the end with my card. And that is how much is sticking out. So now what we're gonna do is fold this flap down, okay? And then we're just going to line this flap and lay it flat. See how everything is nice and flat? And this edge here, we're gonna flip back and place glue on that and then adhere it to the back of our mailbox. Making sure everything is flat. Now, this is how it's going to work on our card. Okay? So now we can get our little wooden piece or our post, okay? And that post will fit right inside there like so. So you can put glue on there or glue on your post, it doesn't matter. And there we have it. Now we can get our card and this tab and this tab are the only two tabs we are going to glue down. And I thought I was recording and I wasn't so I had to tear it up. But anyways, what we're going to do is fold our card up and you can put your mailbox anywhere you want in the score line. Just keep in mind, you don't want your post to show and your flag to show. But about right here is where I'm going to lay mine. So once I have it lined up, we're just going to put glue on this. And fold our card down on our mechanism. Then once we have that, that's what it's looking like if we fold it back over. Let's lay this back flat, okay? So we have it all nice and flat here. And we are going to put glue on this tab and fold our card to it. Give your tab that we just glued on a second to dry. But that is it with it working. Now what we can do is get our little flag and we just want to put glue at the bottom of this And keep in mind when you put your flag on how far this is because we don't want it when it starts to move like so it's gonna move like this we don't want it to get caught on our mailbox so once we have it on and we think it's dry there we have it isn't that the coolest, guys? Just love it. So, we can go and decorate uh, the rest of our.
card and then we'll come back here and share to see what we've come up with okay okay so the last thing we need to do is glue if you would like an envelope that I had at the beginning and you can place it anywhere on the mailbox lid you just want to make sure when it closes it's not obstructing anything to make it shut properly so I think I'm gonna put mine about like that so I'm gonna kind of make it look like it's in part of the mailbox and we can see the lid and then it's not messing with anything to make it shut properly so this is what i came up with mine i just thought this envelope with the hearts come out just a little love note and then you open it up and it says sending you love and then you can add some grass at the bottom of your mailbox and i just love how these turned out and then of course on our back we have a place to write our message and do you guys know what a corn says when you give it a compliment? Oh, shucks. <laughs> so there it is, guys. I just think this turned out so cute. I would love to see what you guys have come up with. And I just want to say thanks so much for crafting with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.